Saturday, July the 1st. about uh, actually a long time ago we were talking about YouTube views and that YouTube at the time had altered uh, and still have have altered the uh, the time the amount of views that you need to have in order to get um, in order to get paid so you have to have a minimum of 10,000 views before they'll even um, allow monetization on on your on your channel if you are a new youtuber um, so I thought I'd just give you an update as to how I'm doing on the whole vlog thing. Um, so, the vlog in which the monetization was in was vlog 17. If you go, if you're going to build a new channel with two videos going up a week, you are, I'm looking at 629 views so far in two months and that is just with a channel with two videos going up per week obviously if you do more videos you could then increase your viewership as well but that doesn't really mean a lot um that's april the 8th and now we are with july the 1st so now we've got 1229 views and i gotta get to 10,000 before any sort of payment um, starts to go on to onto this account. So I just thought I'd let you know exactly how difficult this this actually is to get this going. If and well, fortunately, um, if you are one of the fortunate ones, you might be able to break that within a couple of weeks to a couple of months uh, if you choose if you make a video that goes viral or anything like that. But just so I let you know exactly how that was going. Vlogs have been quite sporadic. There's been a couple of videos I've put up of me cycling back and forth in my commute. Uh, there's been a couple of different vlogs, a couple of sort of how-tos and tips and things like that. I'm trying. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to experiment with the channel a bit and trying to just c c sort of come outside the vlog box. Um, and at the same time as doing that, sort of try and stay within the vlog box as well if that makes any sort of sense so i'm trying to just experiment with the channel see exactly where i can go with it see exactly what you guys like see exactly what you guys would want from this channel as well um just as an aside to vlogging kind of branch off slightly um there's a new tv program on channel four i think it is on monday at 10 p.m i'm going to say it's called vloggle box now everyone's heard of goggle box where you're watching people watch people watch um tv shows and then they're given their sort of verdict or as to what's going on well this this is all about online content and it's all about youtube and um viral videos and it's all about popular videos as well trending videos and things like that and i, I just thought i just put a shout out to it if you haven't seen it, give it a shot. You may like it. It's a little bit... I think it's going to take a while to get into, you know. But on, just on the outskirts, it seems okay. So, again, in a previous vlog, you noticed that... Well, I, you know, I let you know that my Google Pixel... I broke it. Well, now I've got another phone. The Moto G. Uh, the Moto G5... Moto G5 Plus, in fact. Uh, now, I had the, the old Moto G... Um, I think it was the first or second generation when it came out and I really liked it. This generation now, this is the fifth generation of uh, Lenovo's Motorola brand um, phones and I like it as well. I think it's a really good phone. The case arrived, the case was posted through our letterbox and not in the outside letterbox so the dog attacked it. So now I don't have a case. <laughs> Fortunately I don't have any glass on the back That's glass. I don't have any actual glass panels like that. Which, all jokes aside, even if I hadn't smashed it, I think that is the most ridiculous design. This year, just being glass, that being, being aluminium, what's the point? You can just have a nice little bit of glass over the lens, over um, the flashlight as well. Not over a quarter of the, but not even a quarter. 
Yeah, a, qu a, a third of the back of the phone for no reason. Just, just silly. And going back to the Moto G, and I like it. It's so far I've had it for a week. The battery is superb. It's got a nice little fingerprint sensor at the bottom as well. And above all, it's really nice and really clear. So a full HD display, 3 gig of RAM, dual SIM cards. I don't know why I need two SIM cards, I've only got one, but hey ho. Um, all in all though, good. So I'm going to hopefully not smash this, and hopefully I'm going to be vlogging on this as well and see exactly how this goes when I actually do venture outside. You can probably tell from how well all this thing is actually lit, but today is an incredibly uh, sunny day. It is blue sky, quite a little bit of wind, but above all, it's quite hot out there. I mean, hot for the UK. Uh, we're looking at, what we got, 22 degrees Celsius. To be honest with you, that summer for us. Um, that's quite an impressive summer for us. Not as impressive as it was week before last, when that actually turned out to be 35 degrees Celsius for like two or three, for three days, I think. That was horrendous. Uh, so anyway, uh, oh, ooh, one other thing as well. I've noticed, I've been saying hello to a lot of people on the cycle track, and I heard one person the other day, as he was going past, shouted JD Quad. Uh, so, <laughs> Hello, if you watch this, or if you watch my other channel, um, but if you see me on the Bath to Bristol railway path, give me a shout, I am cycling, I don't cycle with headphones in, I, I, I don't agree with it, that's just me, um, but if you see me, say hi, uh, and I'll hopefully say hi too, I normally cycle and I'm in a total world of my own, uh, but if I see you, I most certainly will say hi, say it quite loud as well, because if it's in the morning, I, I'm dead to the world.